want in the bottom right as the green zerg playing for red bloods it is hanfi his opponent spawned as the blue terran playing for evil geniuses it is the muslim and hanfi handed himself versus protoss um in a really really convincing fashion but can he do so against uh, the devil terran Definitely another caliber of play coming off the Muslim. But he's not gotten that lucky. He's, I think he's a pretty good player on ladder, or maybe I'm mixing this up, maybe it's the other way around, but I think he's a pretty good player on ladder, but had some issues uh, in tournaments. But maybe it's the other way around. Maybe he's amazing in tournaments and uh, just not that good of a ladder player, but I think so. I mean, otherwise you'd have trouble streaming day, day in and day out. Okay, Mr. Dotduck says that uh, the Muslim seems a bit off his game lately. Well, I mean, he made it to the um, round of 16, so... Oh wait, round of 32, which one are we on? Round of 32. So, that's not too shabby. Especially considering the stacked lineup we got here. So, I would assume uh, that Hanfi will go for um, hatch first, yes. Goes on hatch first. Will he go for a third hatch before a pool? Like he's doing in his all of his ZVPs. According to the list, Happy is not qualified? Really? Didn't I see his name before? Was that Happy Zerg? Uh, we'll have to see. Have to see. Let me actually increase the Oh, that's why I'm not hearing the music. It's turned all the way down. Much better. Alright, Hanfi is not going for triple hatch before pool, but instead going for um, pretty early gas. So we'll get speed uh, early on and uh, maybe apply some pressure to the Muslim, who's going for a barracks expand. And is just now getting, uh, getting finished with his first refinery. Spawning pool is done and not doesn't quite have a hundred gas, so got a, started a little bit too late on his gas to go for that um, perfect um, speed opening. But he is gonna move almost all of his workers out of gas, just keeping a single drone in there, and again going for uh, double queens, of course. And I would f fully expect Hanfi to produce more queens after this. This is something he's he's loving uh, that he just loves to do in most of his matchups. I don't know about ZVZ, but uh, in ZVP he loves to get additional queens, and if he does it in ZVP, then he should for sure do it in uh, ZVT. Anker is going down for the Muslim, and he already has two Marines available to, um, of course, sit in there and keep his natural safe. Up here, he's getting a reactor and getting a factory, so we'll see a swap to Hellions pretty soon. See if that SCV can stay alive. Yes, I think it can. And Hanfi will lose a single circling over here, but uh, it's gonna keep that second one over here and uh, see when the Muslim is moving out. And he also already moved out an Overlord. It's gonna see, okay, natural has been taken. Um, we'll see that bunker over there and gets the second Overlord in position over into the main base. So he can actually go for a, well, maybe seven minutes scouting timing to see what the Muslim is aiming for. Muslim wing well, uh, already got a uh, second gas of it um, up and going for a starport. So I would fully expect uh, some draw play coming out of him. Let's see if he's gonna go for additional Hellions afterwards or just gonna go for um, a Marine or more Marines and then maybe a Widow Mine production out of this factory. Third base will be taken here for Hanfi and so far he's not. Well, he's got a single additional queen, but not that many more. He'll need that queen pretty soon, so right now just playing with three queens. A little bit surprising, to be honest. But this link will be grilled. Grilled alive. And the Roach Horn is coming up. Interesting. Interesting for Hanfi. A lot of players um, are going for the Roach Horn for, for defending the Hellions right now, but I don't know. If you have good creep spread, 
They're not the Helens are not gonna do all that much right now, especially if it's only two of them coming out. But maybe he's also to going to go for um, Roach Aggression after this. It's always a possibility. If it doesn't do damage, I still feel like a solid bio follow up from the Terran can just kill you outright, or maybe not outright, but do enough damage to uh, kind of stop you in your tracks and then go for a win in the mid game. And that's seven roaches uh, and a bailing nest coming in, so this is gonna be a roach bailing bust. And on Deadwing, if Mus if the Muslim scouts us out uh, soon enough and gets additional bunkers up, um, he, he can hold this off, no problem. He's already going for a second bunker right now, he's going for um, additional barracks and he's going for a siege tank. He almost has that perfect defense up. Um, yeah, he should have the perfect defense up. Well, a little bit, a little bit uh, risque here. Might be able to save these Hellions though. Almost the same speed, so the Lynx will not quite reach them. Oh, nice trick! And he is gonna save those Hellions. They can help quite a bit, especially if it's gonna be Ling, Bla Ling Bailing, uh, Ling Bailing, and Roaches in there. Bunker is up, Siege Tank is in position, and SCVs are pulled. But for now, um, I think they're mostly pulled for these Hellions. But he did go in there, and did he see all of these units yet? I don't think he did. SCVs are still pulled, oh, first line has fallen though. Siege Tank still doing damage and getting rid of all of these Banelings at once. But the Roaches are closing in, they're getting right on top of the bunker, getting right on top of the Siege Tank, getting rid of the Siege Tank. Second bunker, almost no units in there. SCVs are pulled, more and more Banelings are streaming in from the back. They're gonna take these SCVs out. Oh yeah, I think Hanfi can do this. Is there another siege tank? Yes, there is. There's another siege tank on the top. And I think with that, uh, the Muslim could hold. Is Hanfi getting any reinforcements behind this? Yeah, 20 more links are streaming in. But uh, I don't think they're gonna do all that much. Yep, he's not gonna go for a follow up to attack just yet. And the Muslim now has a siege tank. Lots of medevacs, lots of marines available. But let's check out the aftermath of this. Um, this little brawl here. Muslim lose a little bit, lost a little bit less. Um, he's still behind in economy, but he can go for a pretty strong counter attack right now. So I think that Hanfi should be good in holding this. He has Banelings available. Um, he's going for layer tech. He's getting his upgrades, or at least getting the Evo Chambers. So he's setting everything up. He just needs to survive for a little bit longer. And if he stops this army before it actually gets to his base. Um, and right now, like out in the open, this this army from the Muslim just dies. And especially on creep, you need to watch out, the Muslim. Definitely need to watch out. With a couple of siege tanks in the mix, the Muslim could be uh, way way more dangerous. But then again, he's kind of afraid of run bys, so having a siege tank at home for sure makes a lot of sense. Oh, <laughs> nice! Even the spore over here. And Lynx might be able to close down here. Nope. And single Banelings coming in. Ooh, nice hit though. That final hit, definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. And Hanfi, he's, he's buying time. He's getting the Sankrofugal hooks. It's almost halfway done. And plus one, plus one on the way as well. Uh, Spore will have to be moved. And I think it's still in, yep, it's still in marine range. So that will go down pretty soon. But the Marines are in trouble as well. Oh, not, not quite the best hit here for Hanfi. But now, um, plus one, plus one, and centrifugal hooks almost done. So is the Bailing speed upgrade. And uh, the Roach speed upgrade. It's a scan. And the elevator drop. Siege tanks are quite dangerous right now. Speed almost done. Ooh, Link's getting on top of the siege tanks, but he doesn't ha quite have enough. This is still a really potent push for the Muslim. And he's getting the plus one armor upgrade and the sh combat shields pretty soon. So I think Hanfi will lose this base, but can he still fight and stay alive? That is the question. The Muslim will have a transition prepared after this. Doesn't quite have a third command center just yet, but Hanfi is trying to close in, gets a good Banelink connection, but the plus one really helps out. And that's the Muslim going for the 1-0 here. That 1-1 upgrade really helped the Muslim quite a bit. Without 1-1, um, Hanfi would have held this, and 
he would have been in the perfect spot. He had a good worker saturation, had that third base uh, early on. But the Muslim just waltzing in there, and well, not waltzing in there, but he really took his time. He tried to just little poke and prod, didn't lose too many marines on the way over. He didn't, he didn't really show that he had, um, he didn't go for, for a real expo behind this or anything. He didn't really show that he went for, a, or was planning on a massive attack on Hanfi. And I don't know, I don't really know what Hanfi could have done better here. Maybe uh, take out the the um, marines before they actually got to his base, because that, that was the whole thing we talked about. Um, having the siege tanks on the base um, makes it almost impossible to deal with. He would have had like double the amount of links, a couple more bane links, he could have taken it out, but I think his timings for the plus one, plus one, and the um, baneling speed upgrade were okay, so... It was mostly just the uh, the Muslim with his plus one plus one getting there a little bit sooner than Hanfi would have hoped for. All right, let's do it. Loading into the second map, it's Overgrove. GLF being called out by both players, of course. Hanfi is a nice guy, and so is the Muslim. And here we are, on Overgrowth Ladder Edition, our Green Zerg playing for Red Bloods, it is Hanfi. And the Devil Terran himself spawned as the Blue Terran, the Muslim playing for Evil Geniuses. And he's up 1-0, uh, with a perfectly timed counter-aggression to Hanfi's um, Ling bling roach bust. And also really, really solid defense. I don't I don't quite know how he knew that was coming in. He had the second bunker up before he scouted anything. And then of course of course the Hellions did scout out a huge mass of links moving over, so that third bunker definitely made sense, but the second bunker was up before anything else happened. So maybe the Muslim is just scared of um of early aggression and that is just the usual way he plays this and it's it's safe um it's okay it's not that much of an investment to get an additional bunker up early on so i like it Let's see if hanfi is gonna go for early aggression again or if he's gonna rely on his late game skill we've seen him play late game quite well at least in zvp but can he do it in ZVT as well. That will have to be seen. Oh, look at that. Anfi, you sneaky, sneaky Zerg. Roxy hatch. And let's see if the Muslim will be ready. Looks like he's going for Reapers. Reapers are usually used offensively. Let's see uh, if um, he has the micro to pull off a decent defense with him as well. If these are staying gas, there's the first Reaper, already being rallied over, and I think he's gonna get there, realize, okay, geez, well, what the heck is happening here? Why is there no expansion? What is Hanfi playing? In that moment, just throw in the bunker in his mineral line, maybe move over with his barracks, and once that happens, I think he should be fine. He's gonna transition out of uh, Reaper production and instead go to Marines. But it all depends on how crazy aggressive Hanfi plays this out. And if the Muslim actually scouts this, um, he could just throw around a supply depot and be super safe. But um, we might we might get to see a cancel on, on this command center. Not totally certain, but we might get to see it. That's four links being... Wait... Is he gonna... Yeah, he's gonna spine crawl to rush this. He's producing links at home. And wait, did the Muslim... No, he didn't scout out the natural just yet. And there are the links. Four links. Well, no, I think it's fine. It's uh, DVT, so the Muslim is not going to think all that much about it. And well, with some decent micro, he can still stick in there. But this is just buying time right now. This is buying time for Hanfi to get his weird, <laughs> weird build established. Get that spine crawler up. He has a queen up front now, and producing links here. 
And so far, the Muslim has not scouted this. He's gonna see it now, and he's gonna be like, What? Are you kidding me? Uh, this is closed off, though. And the factory is almost... Yeah, the factory is almost up. And the reactor is done, so I would expect maybe Hellions, but could also go for just marine pressure. But things are there now. And, well, ooh, nice kill! But no, second SCV gets in. And the Queen gets in position, but the creep is still far ways off. Oh, Hanfi, this doesn't look too good. The Muslim is a beast when dealing with these besieging situations, and the Zerg is definitely not the best... Uh, Definitely not the best race to do this. Oh, what what a blunder! What a blunder, the Muslim. You should have moved those SCVs down there. Now, oh, the Zerklings get in here. This is not the best idea. Not the best decision. Wow. Anfi's gonna clear this off. Get rid of the uh, get rid of the Marines and clear this Reaper off. Um, that's a GG. Hanfi closes this out, and the Muslim definitely wasn't happy. But oh, wow. What a blunder, I thought that uh, ramp was actually closed off, and also leaving those, or getting those SCVs down there, ooh, not the best idea. This is not gonna happen to, t uh, to the Muslim twice. Uh, next time, I, I think this is something that he's not, uh, that, that he won't make the same mistake twice, he's gonna send uh, the Reaper over the natural next time. And also, um, just anticipate something like this from Hanfi. Oh wow, that well, that was a fast match. Here's the invite. Last map will be Nimbus. I wouldn't expect something uh, like this game on Nimbus. Definitely not. Okay, countdown has started. By the way, um, both the Muslim and Hanfi are not placed in Grandmasters right now, but that doesn't really tell you all that much. They probably did a lot of customs in preparation for WCS qualifiers. So, um, yeah, letter placement doesn't really tell you all that much right now. So, let's get started here on our final map for this series. And what a series it's been. Amazing defense coming off the Muslim. A crazy offense for Hanfi with uh, some cheese play. And now we hopefully get into a standard match here between the Zerg at spawn in the top right playing for Red Bloods. He is Hanfi. And his opponent, the Blue Terran playing for Evil Geniuses, the Muslim. What are they gonna go for this time? Nimbus, of course, is one of those maps where uh, standard openings and uh, eco play are usually rewarded. And then we have the uh, close air distance for these two, so maybe Banshee play for the Muslim? I don't know if he really likes his Banshee play right now in ZVT. Yeah. This is something that he goes for. We'll have to see. We'll close this off and hopefully it sure looks like it's closed off this time. Yeah, I'd have to say this is closed off, not like last game. And then I would expect um, a CC after this, but he's already going for gas, so maybe I'm going to produce a, at least one Reaper. To see what Hanfi is doing. And Hanfi is going for hatch first, of course. Not really any reason to do something differently. I doubt that he's gonna go for three hatch before pool though. Not after he pissed off the Muslim. He, he's out for blood now. But I don't... S oh, well. I was gonna say I don't see him going for early speed either, but... There we, there we go. He is going for early speed. And we'll get a nice speed timing as well. Almost to 80, uh, possibly 90 gas before that pull finishes. So we'll have speed quite early on. And there's the Reaper coming out for the Muslim. See if he's gonna save up for the CC. Ah, uh, sure looks like it. Would have been surprised if he did something differently here. And Hanfi? What are you gonna do with your gas? 
maybe early aggression once again, but then again, it's, it's a Nimbus. It's gonna take a while to get over there, and... Ah, jeez. I'd like to see a standard play. And here's the CC for the Muslim. And that's almost 100 gas for Hanfi. So, speed is thrown down, of course. The Reaper will get there, but... Um, Queen's almost halfway done. He has four links available, so he's just gonna buy a little bit of time. Try to keep his drones alive, of course. Some decent micro coming out. Oh, soaked up a few shots with these links, so he will need to watch out. But the Queen's once the Queen spawn, he's in the good spot. And the Muslim is just there to do a little bit of poke of prod. See if he can get a single kill and uh, check if um, Hanfi is going for any kind of early aggression. He did see that the spawning pool is already working and there's only one worker in gas anymore so he knows okay there's not gonna be a Ling Bailing Roach follow up or anything like that. Ooh nice save that was clutch decision making here from Hanfi. Last minute click. And now with the Queens out um, yeah he should be in a good spot. He's getting four additional Zerklings though just to be super super safe and an additional Queen just to spread, start the spread, creep spread and go for a third as soon as possible. The Muslim meanwhile went for the 1-1-1 um, just like la just like the first game, um, and he has that starport in production and reactor on the factory for now. So at least two Hellions will be produced here. Maybe um, maybe Widow Mines afterwards. Maybe just a swap to the barracks once again. Uh, can the links go? Can they get there? No, not not quite. Now that the Hellions are out, I think the Muslim will regain map control and try to stop Hanfi from creep spreading. Third uh, is almost on the way. And wow, he does like his Banshee play, so making use of the close air distance. First Banshee is in production. Um, I don't know if he knows that Hanfi likes a lot of queens. And usually, I think in the, in the first game, Hanfi also went for um, early spores. So both are things that help out quite a bit against Banshees. But then again, uh, the Muslim is also going for a little bit of an attack here, with Hellions and Reapers, which Hanfi needs to deal with. And maybe if he's pulling his Queens for this, um, yeah, and he's doing right now, the Banshees can do a little bit of damage. Reap spread, uh, not as well advanced as you would like to see. Ooh, there's... That's a queen with three hit points for you. That was incredibly close. You need to keep this one back. Maybe just use it for a sp uh, spore and larvae. But he's getting more. He's getting more queens. Uh, he has a spore crawlers available on the right side. And wait, how did this happen? A little bit of a run by here into the natural, but Hellions are there to deal with this. Uh, which of course means that Hanfi scouted out. Okay, uh, we have a starport. We have banshees, and. He's already well prepared for this, and the Banshees are probably not going to do all that much, not with two Spores and the Queen available. But he still needs to defend the front, and continue with his creep spread over here. That's a lot of Queens already for Hanfi. Eight, uh, six Queens? Six or eight Queens? No, six Queens. Six Queens already, but Hellbats, there are quite strong, and just for now we only have these Queens and the Lings. And Hellbats, they can deal with Queens quite easily. Now they're closing in from the back, a couple of drones are in the mix as well. But the Banshee, they're working on these queens, getting rid of the queens. He doesn't have any detection, now he does. The queens are almost gone, that's I think the last queen. Yep, his last queen over here. And is the Muslim sending over any more units? Not for now, but he still has these Banshees wailing away. Doing quite a bit of damage. And looks like Hanfi can finally clear this off. Yeah, he has a lot of links now, but he lost quite a few workers. 13 workers went down in that exchange. Uh, Baneling Nest has been cancelled, if I caught that correctly. And there's the run by. If this is not gonna work, I think Hanfi might just throw this game. Yep, run by is not gonna work. Hellions are gonna return, get a few sh free shots off on the links. Well, not if he makes a mistake like this. Oh, three Hellions. And no, Baneling Nest wasn't cancelled, but instead he's just gonna warp in Banelings up front. Maybe see if he can make something happen. But Hanfi 
can't quite regain control. He needs more queens to finish off the single banshee, and now he does have that queen available. Not getting the final shot, though. So this banshee will continue to be a news. Nope, not gonna be. <laughs> not gonna be. The banelings are not doing all that much. Two bunkers, hellbats, um, and possibly siege tank production soon. Let's see if the Muslim is actually gonna go for that. No, he's just adding more barracks. He, he knows he's in a good spot. But Hanfi, he can still recuperate from this. He can still recover. 40 workers. He can drone back up right now. But I think we might see something similar to the first game. Um, except this time, the Muslim was the aggressor and his attack actually worked. And his follow up attack is gonna be even deadlier. He's going for the plus one attack, plus one armor, stim, and plus one weapons upgrades uh, for vehicles. So that is going to hurt quite a bit. Really strong hellbats, and all of this is going to come into play before. And I gotta, definitely gonna um, stick to that point uh, before the baneling speed comes into play. Um, is he sticking to... Is he sticking to Banshee production though? I think I saw one more Banshee being produced. Nope, now he's switching over. Going into Medivac production for um, <clears throat> for his Hellbats and even taking a third. Wow, the Muslim looks to be in a really good spot. Right now Hanfi is just droning back up. He's establishing a creep creeps bed, which is going to help quite a bit, but... Also, the Muslim not quite going for the attack before Baneling Speed finishes. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe played a little bit too safely, but then again, he was ahead, and you guys know the rule. If you're ahead, try to get more ahead. Let's see. That's the plus two upgrades on the way. So he's gonna be. If he sticks to this, he's gonna be one upgrade ahead the entire time. And. He, um, he's catching up on his worker composition or worker um, worker saturation and refineries are being placed down here as well. So we could add in a couple more factors if he wants to, if he needs more hellbats. But for now just sticking to mainly bio and of course the medevac production which is just oh so vital right now. Fourth base is trying to be established here for Hanfi and he's trying to go for a run by which might actually work. These links get on top, get on top of the, uh, the units that are getting in there. But oh, now they're blocking the bane links. Not the best spot for them, but they finally break through. And the Muslim is turning around. Most of the bane links have evaporated. Can they get into the mineral line? Looks like they can. Some really good bane link hits. Couple have been saved. These links are still active though, and the single bane link is still in there. Well, Lynx are still clearing up these SCVs. Oh, the Muslim might have made a really grave mistake. He could have gone for the counter kill here. But he did clear it up. Did lose quite a few workers though. 29 workers killed, 31 uh, workers killed by Hanfi. So he did clean that up, but now Hanfi needs to defend. And he's still on 1 1. No 2 2 incoming. If he can just stay on creep and maybe get a really good surround, Muslim is not going to stand a chance, but he really needs a good surround, otherwise it's not going to work. And he needs some really solid connections with the Hellbats. And fourth base is in trouble. I think the Muslim will take this one out. But it does open up the possibility for Hanfi to go in from the backside. He's trying to do just that, closing in. On the right, ooh, some really good bailing connections, but he's also connected with most of these Marauders. And they're catching quite a bit of fire. Some Hellbats are still left alive. Some really good splitting here from the Muslim. And this looks like a pretty dangerous army. The Muslim, he's moving into the third. And really safely taking out, um, taking out the left side and staying on this ramp. And this is helping out quite a bit. No reinforcements will be able to get to him. And Hanfi... He's trying to break out one more time. Bane links are there, but most of them melt away before they actually reach their target. Couple links are still in there. And no reinforcements for the Muslim. But this base is for sure going down. And there is the GG. The Muslim takes this 2-1. to one And moves on to the round of 16.